Hi everyone, it is November 16, 2018. I do not have time to spend on the information that I'm going to be passing along to you. So you'll have to click on the links below to get this information. Uh, I got comments from someone who lives 40 miles outside of Chico, Sheena. Uh, I keep dropping local information links, but have yet to see you're getting the links, I guess. N well, no, until now. And the link from Shia is to a video, Missing Person Live Update Walmart Parking Lot, Chico, California. Apparently, Walmart has not told anybody to leave. Who told the people at Chico? Those who lost their homes in paradise, and they set up a tent city and we're getting a lot of help. Um, we don't know, but it this in this video I did watch um, only about ten minutes, and it's forty minutes long. And this woman is right here at the Walmart um, tent city for the survivors of paradise. So that link will be below. I did get a video from, well, let's, from a subscriber that, as I can see, the YouTube video is still there, but I'm clicking on this video. Okay. Um, I hope it plays right. Listen to what Jerry Brown is saying. Uh, this is a tragedy again, uh, not just here, but up in Northern California. Uh, the new, not the new normal, the new abnormal. Uh, fires, uh, dryness, uh, the lack of moisture, uh, the heat, the winds, uh, almost the hurricane speeds. So we have our work cut out for us. It's so beautiful here, but having so many people uh, living in this space, uh, we are going to have to uh, make a lot of changes. Did you hear them? We are going to have to make a lot of changes. Having so many people living in that space and many spaces in California. That is one of the reasons why they are causing these fires. It's so beautiful here, but having so many people uh, living in this space uh, we are going to have to uh, make a lot of changes. You've had so many people living in that space for a very, very, very long time. You have so many people living in other spaces for a very, very long time. And you were not seeing these kinds of fires. So I hope that Californians, those who just haven't flipped that common sense, critical thinking switch, on again in their brain do so that they start really paying attention to what their government officials are saying because it does not make any sense unless they have an agenda and that agenda is we all know it 2030 I also want to pass along this video which is high impact vlogs this video something more catastrophic than the California fire mainstream media won't tell you about how toxic is your air but he also goes into agenda 21 2030 they want to get you out of specific areas and they're burning you up to do it and they don't care that they kill people and kill an awful lot of wildlife and domestic uh, animals. They don't care. These are psychopaths who are our quote unquote leaders. We can't get anywhere good if we allow people to lead us. They all about themselves, incredibly evil, immoral to the core, implementing their own agendas through various methods, uh, 
and I just so wish that people would wake up because you know what this is so now accelerating all over the place air quality plummets across the Bay Area closing schools keeping some schools open here is a um, Professor from Stanford. Everybody's feeling the pressure and they feel not like... Not him. He works for, I guess, San Jose Community College. I'm not even sure if that is the name of the college, but listen to what the woman has to say. Uh, compelled to, uh, to close the campuses. It's scary. It's scary because on a molecular level, we know changes are taking place. Stanford. And she also talked about all of the pollution caused by the fires that are that are saturating your air with particulates that are very dangerous all over the San Francisco Bay Area. Sacramento is, you are really saturated in high levels of toxins now. San Jose, LA area, so please listen to this video that I'll link to below. And Winter Storm Avery is, well, <laughs> leaves seven dead, not five, seven dead. And it is causing havoc for the Northeast in myth. myth in Mississippi, a casino-bound tour bus overturned Wednesday on an icy highway, killing two people and injuring 44 other people aboard. Um, 70,000 customers in Kentucky, 67,000 in Indiana, 35,000 in, uh, in Ohio, along with 105,000 in Pennsylvania, New York, New Jersey area without power. And it is the snow in Northeast. It's not all that much. And yet it's bringing traffic, travel, uh, People have been in their cars, stuck for hours. The roads are not being plowed. And in fact, I'm going to pause you because I want to get to a comment. Well, I can't find it, but it was from someone who lives in upstate New York. And they were talking about how they got like seven inches of snow. And her husband, it took maybe five hours for he to return home. Generally, it's a 40-minute drive. What's going on? She was also talking about how they were not plowing the streets. Not plowing the streets. So, all of this is deliberate to create an awful lot of chaos and leave people just struggling to survive. Exhausted commuters commuters point fingers after crippling snowstorm. This should not cripple anyone in the Northeast. Look at the snow, but it's very slippery. Why is it very slippery? Because of all of the ingredients that they use in the aerosol spraying, the geoengineering that falls from the atmosphere, get mixed up with the snow, gets onto the streets, and it's very slippery. And I noticed this years ago when I lived in Massachusetts. I noticed that the snow was no longer looking natural. And wow, you get an inch of snow. And if you're from certainly the Northeast, you know you can walk in an inch of snow without any problem. Now people are slipping all over the place. Um, Thousands of exhausted commuters pointing their fingers at politicians and meteorologists for leaving them creeping along highways 
or stuck in mass transit hubs because of a storm that left seven dead as it moved through the Midwest and South. Some students in West Orange, New Jersey, were forced to sleep at their schools after their buses turned back, while others were taken to a diner to eat because snow-covered roads were clogged with traffic. Had to get to the diner. Maybe it was close by the school. Students are safe in their schools with teachers and staff. They have eaten dinner and are preparing to get some rest. That was a district alert. Are you kidding me? Parents, you really need to be very alarmed at what is taking place when the schools are keeping your children, the buses can't drive in a few inches of slow, uh, snow, and your uh, cities, towns are not plowing the streets, getting out there. But for a school to keep the students, to feed them and, wow, all right, something is very wrong with this picture. This is all a test. It's all a test, Americans, to see how you respond to everything that is going on. And if you don't respond appropriately, more and more and more will you be experiencing these kinds of events. Former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie tweeted it took him nearly six hours to travel a distance of 45 minutes. New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio said he understands why people are frustrated that city official, officials were caught off guard by a snowstorm that stranded some New Yorkers in their cars for hours. Oh, the city will do a full review of what happened here. Guess what? You've been hearing your city officials talking about those full reviews of what happened here for years with virtually every event. But it still continues because it's deliberate. The MTA, uh, the Metropolitan Transportation Authority, didn't have snow chains on its buses. He said many of them had to pull over, further clogging streets. New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy, who tweeted the storm was worse than forecasted. What's going on that we have now meteorologists who can't seem to quite get anything right anymore? Well, because when man modifies the weather, man may not be telling those meteorologists exactly what is going to be happening and the consequences of all of the ingredients in our atmosphere that the snow then picks up and falls down to the ground, making everything very dangerous. 30-mile stretch of Interstate 78 in Pennsylvania with numerous vehicles stuck for several hours from the Lehigh Valley to New, Jer New Jersey state line. Sorry, can't quite talk today. Um, police sometimes drove on the opposite side of the highway, honking their horns to wake up drivers who had fallen asleep. 150 uh, or 105 thousand homes and businesses were without power Friday in Pennsylvania, mostly in the western part of the state, so that was just Pennsylvania. Massachusetts re uh, received more than nine inches of snow in the storm, which turned into rain overnight to complicate the morning commute. Okay, well, a lot of people are um, being affected on both coasts right now. And it is the coast where most, uh, on both coasts, where most people live. This isn't going to stop. It's only going to get worse. Unfortunately, all links are below.